Hey guys, uh, if you're going to be towing a trailer with your Honda Accord, you're going to need trailer lights. It's required by the law and um, it's a pretty simple uh, install. Uh, it's just three connections. There will be one behind each of the tail lights and then we'll be making our own uh, ground post for that. But it's a pretty simple install and we'll go ahead and get right into it. You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. All right, so like we said, everything is located in the trunk compartment here. Uh, we'll be needing to get behind each of the tail lights to get to those attachments. To be able to do that, we'll first have to take out this center plastic console, and then we'll be taking out these three uh, connectors right here uh, to be able to pull out the paneling to get to the uh, tail lights. Okay. So for our first step here, we'll go ahead and pull back this flooring right here. We're just gonna push it out of the way, just towards the back. And then we'll have to remove this center piece right here. Uh, there's no clips on the bottom, on the inside, or any, anything hidden. There's just a couple body clips underneath right here. There's three on each side. And to remove that, we're just gonna go ahead and pull up just, just like that. And to give you a look, you got the three clips on this side and the three clips on the other side. And we're just gonna go ahead and put that to the side. And now we're gonna be using a plastic uh, removal tool right here where we're just going to pry underneath these and take these out. And we're gonna go ahead and repeat that for these three. Okay, now that we have those out of the way, we're just gonna make sure that we have enough room so we see that we have plenty of room where we can get to the connector. And before we do that connection, we're just gonna go and go ahead and repeat that same process on the passenger side. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and remove these three. Okay, now that we have access to both tail lights, we'll go ahead and grab our part and show you where we connect them. Okay, now that we have our part, uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab the connectors that have the yellow wire and the red wire, and we're gonna pull it over to the driver's side. On the tail light, there are two connections back here. And you can see these right here. One is right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. And then we have one on right above it. So these are the two connections that we'll be plugging these in. The red wire will go to the bigger plug that was towards the bottom. So we'll go ahead and plug that in and then we'll go ahead and plug it into the tail light and then the smaller clip will be connecting to the yellow wire all right now on the driver's side we also need to make our ground and right here, the vehicle already has a ground in place. So we'll be going ahead and removing that bolt and just using that same ground for our ground for the vehicle, uh, for the trailer wiring. Okay, after taking a look at this bolt, it's a 10 millimeter. So we're just gonna be using a 10 millimeter socket to take that out. Once we have that out, we'll take our ground from our trailer wiring and put it in right with the other one. And then we'll go ahead and tighten it up. And we'll go ahead and shake it and make sure it's not loose at all. And now we're going to go ahead and take the green wire and move over to the passenger side. Okay. So I can, as you can see, there's a lot of green wire, so we don't want to connect it and leave a lot of it loose and hanging around. We don't want it to get in the way of the spare tire or anything like that. So as you can see, there's already a bundle um, or a loom of wires that's already heading all the way down there. So we're going to go ahead and take some zip ties and we're just going to follow this loom all the way down and kind of keep it tight and flush with it so we don't have any dangling 
wires. So now that we have it routed over to our passenger tail light, uh, we're going to see that this one also has the two plugs, but we won't be using both of them like we did on the driver's side. Uh, we're just going to be using the top one. So we'll go ahead and remove that and plug in Okay, now that we're over on the driver's side, we're going to find a place to put the converter box and route our four flat connection. Um, we're gonna go ahead and use double-sided tape and we're just gonna put one on one end of the box and we're just going to connect it right here on this flat surface where it's out of the way. So we'll go ahead and connect. And we're just gonna press down on there. That way it won't be bouncing around anywhere. And the four flat connection will be leaving in the trunk. Uh, with sedans, there's a lot of risk bringing it down low, so we've made a decision to keep it up here. And we're gonna go ahead and put this paneling up. All right, now with the paneling up, we're gonna go ahead and put the clips right back into place. And we'll repeat that on the passenger side. All right, now that we have the side panels in place, we'll go ahead and take the center piece and we'll just line that up right in the center here. And a good way to measure it is just by lining it up with the um, hook right there for the closing the, tr uh, the trunk. And now that we have that in place, we'll go ahead and close that. All right, with our wire wiring installed, we'll go ahead and show you how to use it. Uh, when in use, you'll just pull it out of the trunk and you'll just kind of keep it along the weather seal and you just close it right on it and then you'll be able to hook it up to your trailer. Now as you can see, and it can be a concern for some, um, people think that the trunk can clip the wiring, but as long as you keep it with the weather seal, you can see that there's no damage, no cutting, um, it's protected. Um, the only thing that you'd want to avoid is just right here where it actually clips. Um, if you route it right in the middle, that's the only danger. So just make sure that you route it towards the side. And then when it's not in use, you can just lift up that floor paneling and you can just tuck it right underneath so it can stay hidden and you can use it when as needed. All right, thank you for watching our video. Enjoy using your trailer wiring and happy trailering. To learn more about the products seen in this video, or to schedule an installation by a U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.